Hello, beautiful people. Um, the first thing I want to say is this is the recipe for the blooms that I used. And this is the recipe for the base paint. You just kind of have to practice a little bit to get the base layer thin enough to create the dendrite fractals. Um, and it might take a little practice. I want to say thank you to my supporters, Andrea, Gail, and Pamela. You guys rock. <laughs> thank you so much. If you want to help bring more art videos to, um, to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description box. And those small donations, even five, ten dollars, twenty dollars, man, they help so much. You could also visit my shop with prints and paintings. And um, that's at heathermaderart.com. But my auction is in two weeks, y'all. So, and I know there's been some amazing auctions online, but if you would please save the date from mine, December 1st at 4 p.m., that's West Coast time, Pacific Standard Time. I just made two more pieces um, this past week that will go into my auction that are surprises, affordable, and all of the prices are going to start low. The opening bids are all going to be very low. Even the bigger pieces I'm going to try to make low to start. <clears throat> so I wanted to tell you, after I did the last dendrite garden that I did, you know, the black one, um, I thought for sure it was going to be just really easy for me to just recreate it the very next day. And I tried. Nope. <laughs> I just tried on a little test canvas and I did not get the blooms. So the paint just stayed in dots everywhere. So <clears throat> what I want to reiterate to you guys is you have to test the base layer. This is the, the top layer will work as, as described. And I've given you the recipe for the top layer. The bottom layer will also work the base layer will also work as described, plus or minus water. So the water and the thinness of the base layer is really what is going to make this happen for you. Now if it's too thin, although initially you're like, oh yeah, this is awesome, it's just totally dendriting and making these beautiful fractals and it looks great, but it'll just keep going and going and going and going and going and going and then the next thing you know, all of your pretty little dendrites will just be big fuzzy blobs. So there is a happy medium that you're looking for. You want to be able to put the uh, primary elements down in a drop and I'd say within 7 to 15 minutes you get, you know, your fractals forming. So you don't want it to be too fast and you still want it to happen. <laughs> so um, I'm making this flower. I, the, my favorite flowers from that black dendrite garden were this color made with this formula. That is high flow. That's high flow um, pearl from Golden Fluids. And I just put a little bit of the purple in there um, and mix the two together and then I just use a little pipette and I just piped it on there and then that's the high flow copper and then I just you can see I'm just adding some dots and then I'll just take a little skewer and just kind of draw them out I find that when you draw it out into the paint um, it just gives opportunity more of a chance to form little fractals and it kind of creates um, you know, some symmetry in the flower. It gives it a direction, basically. You're basically directing where you want those dendrites to be formed. And then, <clears throat> I'm just taking another little pipette and just forming some little tiny base flowers. I wanted this one to have some negative space and I just wanted it to be kind of delicate and pretty and kind of cute. <laughs> Not a lot of multi-colored multi flowers, just basically 
a couple of little flowers. And that's the high flow pearl. So I'm just adding a little bit there to give some contrast. And you can see not much is happening in the form of uh, the dendrites there. So I went back in and added more. <clears throat> and then a few more of those little, just a few little flowers. You can basically do whatever you want here, you guys. It's real, it's really, really up to your creativity and your mind, how you want to create those. That's again the high flow pearl that I put with it. So what I'm doing here, you guys, is I'm just adding some high flow purple because I, I want the contrast of the dark purple with the pearlized purple. And so then I'm just using my skewer to draw it through. And you can watch the dendrites grow. I just sped this up really fast for you. See how that dark purple is just spreading out. And then that's the final result, you guys. Isn't it pretty? This painting is really simple and I wanted it to be simple. It's a 16 inch round and that is the wet version. And Here's the dried results. Look at how pretty the golden high flow copper is stunning and um, all the flowers got much bigger of course. They just continue to bloom over time so you kind of have, ha have to have a little faith. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that pretty, you guys? Look how shiny. And that's the whole thing. This painting, I I haven't decided, but I really feel like I'm gonna put it up for sale in my auction. So there's the whole thing. Unless someone contacts me about it before then, but anyway, you guys save the date for my auction. I look forward to seeing you there. And please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so I can continue to make more art videos just for you.